guys and welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I hope you're all finding lockdown comfy. I don't really know what else to say, but I am sending my love and I hope you're all safe. Um, for today's video, I didn't really know exactly what to film, but I thought I would do something along the lines of my wonderful cabinets here, which they're in dire need of a whole lot of reorganising, but I think I need to allocate a lot of time for that because there are a lot of shelves there's a lot on the shelves and I haven't reorganised this since I got these cabinets quite a while ago and I've got another cabinet now so my plan is to have three cabinets, one for minerals, one for shells, one for fossils so I've got big dreams for these cabinets and this is just for all the sort of small specimens I found rather than the big stuff which will hopefully go on display all around my house I need to get the house bit first but we can dream. Um, so for today's video I thought I would try and squeeze into these cabinets some of the recent bits and bobs I've been finding. There's a few gaps in my cabinets because I've seemed to have misplaced one of my favourite minerals. Don't know what I did with it, it was on display in my room and now I can't find it. I don't know if it's just me misplacing rocks, it's kind of an odd thing to lose but there we go. So we've got some space in this cabinet here to put some stuff into um, and then the other stuff's fairly small. Um, so you would have seen on my recent trips I've been finding shark teeth so I wanted to put those safely in my cabinets. I've got here, this is the very first shark tooth I found so I did do a vlog when I found it so this one's somewhat precious to me. Even though it's not whole um, it still deserves a place in my cabinet. So it just looks like that and I believe this is a, is it a sand tiger shark or a sand shark, one of those that someone did very kindly tell me what it was. Um, and then we've got the other bits and bobs I found and this is a more, a more whole shark tooth I found. You guys would have seen these in the vlog I posted but I'm just showing you again. So we've got some shark teeth to put in, um, they're currently just in this little container so I don't lose them. And then I've also got a bag of other little bits and bobs. So these are just small fossils that will get lost amongst my room. Um, so I kind of want the, I want my cabinets to have, you know, really nice examples of certain specimens um, that are maybe a bit small or need, need somewhere safe in order for me not to lose them. Because I, I lose everything. I'm terrible. But um, we've got quite a, I'll show you this one. This is a heteromorph ammonite. So it's not the usual, I can show you what the usual one looks like, it's kind of like that, although the way my arm's twisting it kind of looks like a heteromorph anyway. So you can see it's a bit of an odd shape. It's very small but it's kind of cool I think. Um, so that one's quite funky to me anyway. Then we've got a really cute little sea urchin. Just sat in its rock, I kind of like it in its rock, I could very easily probably pop it out. But I kind of think it being in its original rock gives it a bit of character. Don't know, I like it in its rock so I'm going to keep it that way. Then we've got a brachypod. Now ideally I need to soak this probably in some vinegar in order to get the excess rock off. Um, but it's a really nice, I believe this is called a rinconellid. I believe. Not a pro on my brachypods. Um, so we've got that one and then I just think this is a cute little, it's like a little chunky ammonite. You guys probably know by now, have a little soft spot for ammonites. I do hoard them a little bit too much, um, so there's always space for those. Then I thought this was just a very sweet sea urchin as well, you can kind of see the star on it, if it focuses. I thought it's got quite a lot of detail on it, so I liked that. So these are just all the sweet little ones that they should fit quite easily in my cabinets and it just helps me know they're safe rather than dotted around my room somewhere random in a tiny little plastic bag like they're in currently. And don't worry, I reuse these. I'm not trying to kill the environment. But they are just very useful currently. And then I've got this sea urchin as well which is a little bit different. So I don't know the names of all the different types but if I show you the one you just saw, it's quite, quite different but cool nonetheless. So if you guys know much about sea urchins fire away in the comments. I'd love to hear all of that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys aren't too bored this in this lovely quarantine. Um, I thought I could, I'll try and occupy you a little bit with my obsessive hoarding of anything earth science-y. Um, the next thing that's going to go in my cabinets isn't a fossil, it's a modern day gastropod, but I just fell in love with the shell. Look at that! <laughs> Mainly because it probably reminds me of an ammonite, but I just, I love shells and fossils, so it's a win-win, but I just thought that was really something lovely. So, 
got that to go in as well. Then what else is on my table? I need to put some minerals back. So I didn't find this one. Someone very kindly found it for me. It's a lovely piece of pyrite. You would have seen this in my minerals video. And then this one I did find. So this one needs to find a home in my cabinet because it's currently getting buried on my desk, which it's just not right. <laughs> I feel like I need to keep all my rocks in one place. Otherwise every room in my parents' house will be just covered in rocks. And I don't think they want that. We're gonna put them in my cabinets. Then I've got this lovely rock to go in. So I actually, I won this on a giveaway. You guys, if you follow lots of rock people on Instagram, um, Dr, or oh, what's his username? He does a lot with igneous rocks and uh, he very kindly sent me this, but look at the little pink speckles in it. I just love it. <laughs> It's really nice. So I'm going to keep it in its pot for now to keep it safe. And he did write me all the information about it. So my plan probably over the next few days is to write little labels so I can put them underneath the rocks in here. Because there's lots of rocks I've collected that, you know, because I've been collecting since I was born pretty much. So there's a lot I've collected that I have no idea where or when I collected it or what it is. So even though I'm a geologist now, um, I'm still trying to identify some of it. But that is definitely an ongoing project probably for a long time I just want to make sure I label things and anything I'm finding now I want to make sure I say when I found it and where I found it just so it kind of you know it's useful and it's documented um, rather than just random stuff but I love my random stuff anyway I'm just looking at I'll show you one of my favorite minerals <laughs> and it's not amethyst amethyst is my favorite mineral but this one is my second favorite mineral so this is a lovely piece of malachite. See, I, I can pronounce that one, just not the Chow Kennedy one, whatever it's called. But how pretty is that? I just think that's gorgeous. There's something about the green. I just, I love rocks. Um, but this is the mineral I was just trying to say. This is the Chow Kennedy, Chow Kennedy, this thing here, this mineral. Begins with a C, you guys laughed at me trying to pronounce it last time. Maybe I should do a video on how to pronounce different mineral names. Maybe that will entertain you in this lovely isolation. We shall see. But um, I've shown this rock before. It's, uh, I showed it in my mineral one. It's like a root system of some sort. Um, I found it when I was hunting shark teeth and I thought, it's not a shark tooth, but it's cool. So I took it. So that needs to find a home, but that one's a bit bigger than anything else. So whether it'll fit, that's another thing. And then what else? I want to put my <laughs> my wonky Bella Night needs a home. It's been sat. This has been sat in my jewelry box for ages, and it just it's not quite where it belongs. <laughs> but it's just so weird. I love it. <laughs> now I love how it's not perfect, but it is perfect. So that's gonna find a home. That these should all fit minus the big one, I think. And then this is a piece of obsidian I found when I was in Sicily climbing. This one came from the island of Volcano, I believe. Um, and I have got some like really lovely pieces. This is my box of Sicily rocks. So they're not going in today. <laughs> That'll probably be a video all in itself. I'm gonna have to go through there, take out all the rocks and sit. Then they're gonna need like three shelves in here. I collected so many rocks on that trip. I don't know how my luggage got through. It was like, 16 kilograms over maybe not that much but it was a miracle they were like yeah it's fine and I was like you mean you're not charging me extra but yeah another video I'm rambling I'm sorry right let's put these in oh I'm taking the rug with me <laughs> right let's start with the minerals so this is kind of my minerals cabinet let me move you so you can actually see what I'm doing Ta-da! And then open this one. Right. So I'll first off put the malachite back. That just goes there. Then my lovely piece of pyrite has. So then the pyrite I'm just going to pop down here. Now we have the space here because I'm missing my lovely piece of amethyst. I don't know where I put it. It's going to be somewhere really safe because it's not on display right now, and I do really love that piece. So. Uh, actually, I'll put this one from Snowden up here, the quartz. Then this piece that I won, I'm going to put it on the top shelf. The top shelf of my cabinet in here is kind of like my bits and bobs shelf. It's got a lot of crystal trees at the moment, which 
I'm never getting rid of. I used to love them. They were, uh, my brother would get me them for like my birthdays and Christmas. So they're, they're very sweet and I, I really, really like them. So they'll always stay in there. My obsidian, I'm gonna put it with the black stones here. Even though they're not obsidian, it can, it can go there. Now I don't actually, I have like a few shelves in the other cabinet that's designated for fossils, but a few shelves. <laughs> I've got a lot more than that now so I'm gonna actually put the fossils here for now for safekeeping so I'm gonna put the vellum knight like that and then all my little sea urchins can just be scattered and then my lovely heteromorph ammonite in you go my lovely chunky ammonite do 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 and I've just got some more bits and bobs and the shark teeth so we're just going to place them all. There's probably a much better way to display all this. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to build the third one, hopefully in this lovely lockdown period. We'll see if it actually happens. Um, and then it's going to be probably a, a week long task of me actually organizing all these rocks because I've got I've got rocks in here that I collected when I was like five. <laughs> And um, it was this one was probably because I thought it was a zebra, um, but now I look at them and they're pretty pebbles, but they don't need a shelf, if that makes sense. So I need to go through this shelf and actually take out the ones that aren't something significant to my collection because I am short on space. So it does need to be sorted, and I'm not going to get rid of them because they're I'm I'm a hoarder like that. But I'll put them into a pot of some sort and maybe make like a little shingle area outside for them all. Um, just so they can still be somewhere, but not necessarily in my cabinets because I, I need the space. So, yeah, because I think if the fossil is, you know, small enough to go in these cabinets, it needs to go in these cabinets. And then if it's big enough, if it's too big for the cabinets, I, I'm going to keep it anyway. But I can't be putting too many around the house because it's not my house. <laughs> I showed you this when I found the shark teeth, but I, I am still so in love with this shell. Like, look how unusual it is. If you guys know what this one's called, if it's anything fancy, let me know because I'll put a little name with it. But for now, actually, I'll keep that to one side. That can go with the gastropod shell um, in my shell um, cabinet in a minute. So I'm just going to put all the teeth. Is there space for the teeth? That is a question. I can make space. Okay, we're going to put all the teeth just at the front here. Dun, dun, dun. I think in the long run I'll get a little container for the teeth because I'll only keep the really good ones on display but I kind of want to keep all the other ones as well. They're just so cool, it just amazes me how old they are and just how perfect they still are. Love it. Right, that's that pot emptied. We're making progress. Things have gone in. <laughs> it means they are no longer around my room. This is good. Right, let's shut this one. Where can I put these? Oh, don't go in there. That is a question. Well, this teeny tiny one, we can just put that there. Oh, 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 oh. Not like that. I didn't break it, it's fine. No. Perfect. So that's everything in my cabinets, minus this lovely chunk here, but it has to go at the bottom of the cabinets because of the weight of it, and they're just a bit too packed at the moment, so I'm going to have to reorganise to get that in. But that's progress. The big one, it can go around my room because it's more robust, I'm not going to lose it. Easily anyway. Um, I might manage it. But yeah, so this is my fabulous shell cabinet. I'm gonna move my camera actually so you guys can see because I'm just realizing it's focused on my face, not these. So this is my shell cabinet. So there's just loads of different things that I've either, either found or been given um, or whatnot. And it's just sort of accumulated over the years and they've all got little stories behind them, which is what I love. And I wanna, you know, get them on display. So I, when people come over or just for my own benefit, I can show them off a bit more. So. There's a lot in here. There's some fossils hiding 
hiding away amongst everything. This is still one of my greatest fossil finds. I found this when I was really young and I just think it's so awesome. Look at that, like the detailing on that. So it's a sea urchin, I believe, or a, maybe a sand dollar. But it's just, it's preserved in like, is it going to focus? There you go. It's like preserved in a flint of some sort. Very cool. So I need your guys' help in how to organise these cabinets. So this is what we're currently dealing with. So there's a lot of stuff in these cabinets that I think can go. And I think that's going to make a real difference in giving me the space to then put some of my good stuff. Because you think this is all that I've got. My garage is full right now. <laughs> So this is, to be honest, this is most of my shells um, currently anyway, but I've got a whole load of fossils, which obviously I'm building a third cabinet soon, but that's, I don't know if that'll be enough. I'm going to have to thin it out. And I've got some lovely corals as well hiding away in all of these ones here. And there's more corals in the clam shell up there. So now I've got quite the collection. I think that's, I love shells. <laughs> Modern or prehistoric, just give me all of them. I love it. And starfish. They're pretty cool too. But yeah, I need to take out all the rocks in here that I've got that look like faces. That's what I used to love to collect when I was younger. Um, and I don't want to get rid of those. I'll just put them in like a basket or something around my house. But I don't think they need to stay in my cabinets. <laughs> like that. I literally have probably 20 rocks that remind me of someone's face. Well, not someone in particular, but just of a face. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Oh, there's another one back here. Wait. <laughs> Cheese. They're pretty good, to be fair. I can see why I like them. Oh, there's another one here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet this isn't what you were expecting when I titled this rock collection. Gets my rocks that look like a face collection. <laughs> I've always wondered, maybe I'll ask you guys, what do you think this is? It looks like flint, I don't know if it is anything, but it's kind of weird. It's like, ooh. There's something funky, I found it when I was younger, I don't actually remember where, but it's something unusual. Right, so that's that cabinet. <laughs> We're going to shut the door on this one without the thing on the top, because I'm a little bit worried. I've managed to lose a piece of it, so I'll fix that tomorrow. And then this one here, you guys can see my lovely reflection. Ooh. So this is my mainly mineral cabinet, but now we've added a load of fossils. So these are all my, oh, I am just nearly knocking over my cabinet. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> so we've got all my shark teeth there and my bellum knight looking cute. And then this is all my minerals. So these are the trees I was talking about. I just think they're so cute. I love them. Oh, and I made that hedgehog in reception. Um, pretty talented, I think, but it needs to stay in my cabinet because it's starting to break a little bit. So I need to protect it. And I thought my cabinet would do the trick. Then in here is a piece of meteor that came with a watch I was sent. I thought that was pretty cool. So we put that in here. And then we've just got loads of minerals. Malachite. Looking all pretty. But yeah, I definitely, I have a lot. And I think I kind of want these cabinets to have the best of the best. Which unfortunately doesn't include these pebbles. But that's what little Emma used to collect. So I think it's, it's time for me to do a massive sort of it. Because there's plenty in here that I want on display, just plenty in boxes as well. But this one's got a cute story. I uh, I think I was only about 11 or 12, but um, I dragged my parents into a junk shop. And uh, there was something about this rock that I just really loved. And so we got it. I don't actually... It's just like a nice polished sort of pebble. Cute though. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really do hope you enjoyed seeing my collection in a bit more depth. This is only part of my collection, um, but I'm really excited to get these cabinets to really be, you know, the best of the best of what I found. So I want one to be minerals, one to be shells, and one to be fossils. Um, and obviously they won't be able to take everything, but I think that'll take the main bulk of my collection and I think it'll show it off really nicely. So that does mean Emma needs to reorganise these. So I do think I need to go through and just filter out you know, the not so important rocks to me anymore because, 
you know, what seven-year-old Emma fell in love with might not be what 21 year old Emma is in love with so I think I think it's important to refresh the collection and just keep the best of the best because otherwise I'll have so many rocks and that's not a good thing I don't think I need to have other things in my life um so yeah let me know how you guys display your collections or how you organize your um finds because I'm in dire need of doing my own and might as well use this lockdown time wisely hey but yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video of seeing my stuff a bit more. Let me know if you want any future videos about my collections and um, I can make those happen if there's something you wanted to see more or know more or stories, etc. I ramble so much. I hope this video isn't too long. I haven't even been thinking about that. But anyway, I hope you're all safe in lockdown, quarantine, whatever it is. And I hope you're all doing well. Um, stay inside, stay safe and... I'll be back with very more soon. If you're bored, make a paper triceratops. Um, I'll be bringing out more in the future. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you next time.